Hello to you and thank you for watching my video. As always, please like and subscribe and if you have any questions or what else you would like me to cover, please put into the comments. Today I'm going to be covering the upgrade from PHP IPAM 1.5.3 to version 1.6. You can see this when you log in onto your PHP IPAM, it's, it'll say new version available, and if you click here, it'll show you where to get it. Today, I'm going to show you, also in the release log, sorry, it shows you what the compatibility is, what's required, and what fixes there are. So this is just more of a enhancement. There's no new features, as you can see if you scroll down. 1.5 brought in some new features. So to do this, let's go to the command line. And we want to do first a DNF update on our system to make sure that we have everything up to date. Next, we want to do a backup of our database. Uh, so I already have it here, but I'm going to show you how to do a backup anyways. So as you can see I use the Maria dump, Maria DB dump PHP IPAM to there. And if I do a oh right, it's right there. So the next piece that we want to do is we want to do a full new recursive copy of our system. So this should download 1.6 and install everything correctly. And then we're going to want to check out. <clears throat> so if I do a git branch, you'll see I my old version was 1.5. My new version is 1.6. Uh, I do have a few configuration changes that I need to make to um, the PHP file. Now, I believe I already did this in here, but let me check. So we need to update the max execution time. Execution time from the default of 30 to 600. And as you can see, it's already at 600. So I'm just going to exit. Next, we need to upgrade um, PHP because as you can see, mine is on 7.4. And this will, this version allows you to go to um, PHP 8.3. So I'm going to install php.3. I'm going to do a DNF module reset. I'm going to use the Remy, Remy 8.3. So DNF Y module. Right. <clears throat> so now I'm using this database or this repository. Sorry. I am now going to use do the install. Next, I'm going to do, after all of that, a, and you can see it's 8.3. I'm going to restart the web service. And finally, if we did this correctly, I'm going to go to the home page, and it's going to bring me back here, saying I need to do the database upgrade. And so I'm just going to hit upgrade. IPAM database it says this was upgraded successfully. I'm going to go to the dashboard. I'm going to do a DB version check. As you can see, there's no problems there. Next, I'm going to do a version check. And in the version check, you'll see that I am now in the latest version, that um, PHP is 8.3.1. Maria is on the correct release and there's no issues. Well, 
that is a super fast uh, PHP IPAM for, for me. I want to thank you for watching my video on upgrading PHP IPAM from version 1.5.3 to uh, 1.6. Uh, as always, please like and subscribe and add some comments of what you would like to see or what else you would like me to cover or what was good about this video. Thank you. Have a great day.